Hey there, Evelyn here. So this time, it's not about any tutorial for Splatoon 3, but it's something that I'm very proud and thankful that I won third place at the Nintendo New York store for the Splatoon 3 tournament. So probably you've seen some picture of my team, 5AM squad on social media that we won. And I wanted to share with you everything, how it happened and who were behind the scenes supporting us as a team and anything that's behind the scene. So it all started on September 16, 2022, when Nintendo New York Store uh, posted that they will be hosting their first Splatoon 3 tournament, and it will be on September 24, 2022. And that time when we found out about the tournament, we were contacting each other. Well, at that time, I was taking my nap. So I got a lot of notification from people that Evelyn, you need to go to this tournament, participate. and. So sort of my team too, and we want to make sure that everyone could make it at that time because it was on a Saturday. And uh, we were able to practice for four days, I would say about an hour and a half to two hours each time we were practicing. And probably total will be like 10 hours practicing or even less. Most of us, uh, we don't really play Turf Wars, which that was the only thing that uh, will be in the tournament. We most and majority of the time, we we'll play Anarchy Mode, which is in Platoon 3. And we were so used to playing more of those, those competitive mode rather than Turf. So we got to practice a little bit. And then we were saying, like, let's just think about when we play Splatfest. Let's just have fun. And all you have to do is ink, 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 right? <laughs> and that's what happened. We practiced a little bit there. And then when it came to the day of the tournament, we have to be there early to line up there. I mean, although the uh, the tournament start, uh, like they mentioned, at 11 uh, a.m., but someone, we have to be there early. And in that case, Danny, to help out the team, Danny volunteered like, to wake up 4 a.m. in the morning. He got to the store around like uh, 6, uh, 20 a.m. in the morning. And that's when he was just uh, waiting, hanging out around the store there when the store was closed still, right? And so yeah, Danny was there. Thank you, Danny, for doing that for the team. Because we he was told us that he want to make sure that all of us, our team, our body is just uh, ready for the tournament. You can be tired when you are uh, at the tournament. You have to be your body and your mind uh, very prepared for it. And so yeah, so Danny was there early. We um, we were able to check in at 9.30 and then everyone have a cute um, wristband. This time we got a purple wristband. <laughs> so 9.30 in the morning, we checked in. And after that, we would have to wait until 11 when the tournament start. And during that time, we were just hanging around there and kind of like talking to each other to see uh, which team were there. So that kind of gave us an idea who we're going to be facing too. Um, and also during that time, I finally, and Daniel as well, finally got to meet Little A. After so many years of playing Splatoon 2 with him, we never met and I would say, what is it, like five years and so? So we met him and his parents, they're so lovely. I was like, oh my goodness, that's like amazing. I already made my morning. <laughs> it was so cool meeting them. Um, and also some of the people that I haven't seen for a while to see them at the Nintendo New York Store is um, it's awesome. We're all gamers, we love games, right? And that's always the best place to hang out in there. Even though you might not know each other, but you just you know talk to everyone in there. So, and after that, 11 a.m., the tournament starts. And there are a total of 16 teams. And the mode, it will be only turf work. So we didn't know who we were facing first, and it was just one, uh, it would be one time elimination. So if you lose uh, a round right there, uh, that's it, you're done. Then it is the best of three of, uh, of the round, right? Uh, so we went out there for the first team.
We're like, okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> and then but we lost the first game. We lost. Our reaction was like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> we turn around, we talk, talk to each other. And then the uh, there was a lot of things that uh, were happening there. Uh, the, the reason why we are so comfortable playing at home. Like me, I'm going to be sitting here playing with you all. Or even off stream, I'm playing comfortable sitting with my pro controller and then, you know, the, here the monitor or sometimes on the TV, right? Um, I think a lot of us just, yeah, we have to have our own chair and like little a play handheld mode, which is crazy. And so there was there was not handheld mode available there for him to play. It was just the uh, the, the TV. You have to stand there. You could play with your pro control with the pro controller or uh, the Joy Cons. I don't think anyone was playing with the Joy Cons. I think everyone was playing with a pro controller. <laughs> so there was a little bit factor. That was one part. Another part is that um, one of my teammates, uh, two of my teammates, uh, did not have the weapon that we practiced on. So pretty much we had the same weapons that it's the, during the Splatfest War Premiere. That's the only thing that we had. And also the gears, which is the head gears, the clothing, and the shoes. Those were not available for us to pick. It was pretty much default. Uh, and some of you know when you play the game, some uh, gears do help you through your uh, gameplay, right? So forget about Evelyn, keep throwing bombs because there was no um, gear that will help me for sub saver. That did not happen. So I have to kind of change my play style, all of us too as well. Uh, so that was kind of something and um, also Little Ace was first time at the tournament. I'm sure he was nervous. I sort of I, I was nervous when I played him first time five years ago but um, I think this time was better because I kind of know people and not only that that I had Danny there. Danny was not there last time when I participated and there was more people like supporting us. So I think it was a big difference. So I was trying to like, okay, little A, you'll be fine. Don't worry, just for fun. Just do what you do. <laughs> and when you play Splatoon, it's fine. Um, the, the cool thing about we got to meet each other for the first time after so many years. Uh, so yeah, so that was happened. At the first round we lost. And then we're like, nah. We're not walking home empty handed. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. We looked at each other's eyes and we're like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna try this. And yeah, we actually won the next two uh, games. And in that one, we won. Uh, so we won the, against that team. So this is where we move on to the uh, top A. And uh, during the top A, we won the first game. Then we lost the second game. I think that the other team uh, kind of saw the weapons that we used and then they kind of changed it around too. And uh, and also remember the maps also play a big factor when you play the game too. So and then the second we're like, oh boy, it was one to one, right? And we were like, we need to do something. So we discussed a little bit in there and then we like, we have to focus on this person and make sure what to do. And so the third game we won. We actually were able to adjust to A. And we got it. So we move on to uh, are you able to move on to semifinal. So here's the thing: the semifinal, we were facing uh, quantum. So this is a team, they are all pro players. They always play together and they uh, you will have to put a good fight against them. And I'm really proud of my team. Uh, the reason why we we kind it was a little bit a lot of back and forth in there. I mean we did lost the first game. Then when the second game Ah. Please. Ah. We were able to wipe out the team. 
but it was so like towards the end that unfortunately we didn't have enough time to ink around and you know how it's turf remember i said don't die in the last 30 seconds just don't die and that's the very important part of it towards the end that we were not able to ink a lot but it was it was pretty uh close in that part uh so yeah we lost to them and we have to move into uh fight for third place and this is where we were like no we have to fight for it <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so we competed there in the third place. Uh, I think we went all out there in the last game. <laughs> And then towards the end, when we uh, we won two games, uh, the first and the second one right away. And after we, my reaction when I won this, when we won the second game, I put on the control. I'm like, is this real? Did we just win a medal? And we would just look at each other and we started hugging each other and they're like, yes, we did it. Uh, we did it. Our goal was to, um, of course, have fun. But our goal is to walk away with a medal. And we actually got uh, third place uh, at the tournament. That was really, really cool. Yeah, the 5 a.m. squad. Let's get it up! And so yeah, it was a lot of like, I was like still like, I sh like shocked and exciting and happy. It was like so emotional uh, for me. It was one of my, my bucket list to win the medal and especially for a game that I love the most. And also, you know, it's uh, from Nintendo, right? From Nintendo store that they host the tournament. Uh, and then after that, all the teams were presented with the medal. They call all of us uh, first place, second place, and third place, uh, right, uh, right, the big screen of the, of the Nintendo store, right? So we all standing, they line up, and then we all got our medals. Uh, then we uh, took a group picture. Then they told us to go somewhere else to take an individual group picture, right, per team, and also as a big uh, team in mean, like first second third place all together uh took picture uh we all were just like like happy smile right <laughs> it's a really cool and nice uh on that part we had different areas to take picture which is really really nice so besides the medal we all got some Splatoon 3 goodies too i'm gonna show you uh this is one of the cool poster and then in the other side too and it has a date in there too. It says Splatoon 3 Tournament, September 24, 2022. Uh, and then in the corner it says, has the logo of Nintendo New York Store as well. Pretty nice. And uh, let me check. Let me show you the other one. Uh, we did get uh, uh, stickers. Splatoon 3, right? Nice. It's cute. And we did get... <laughs> oh, this, this is a hat. This squid hat. Some of you probably seen it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's my two or three hat, which I know some of you wanted Danny to wear it, and now then you have an extra one. <laughs> oh boy, uh, yeah, and of course, of course, the medal. The medal, third place, is really nice. Uh, it's like really, it's really thick, it's only a little bit heavier too. Decent size, and the pack is size, say 2022. Uh, third place between three tournament Nintendo New York very nice 
I really need a space to put my metal now and gain this game room. So maybe I have to find a place there. <laughs> of course, when you win anything, especially like a medal, you want to give a little speech. Uh, this time, uh, I want to give my speech uh, in terms of like, thank you. Um, thank you to my team, Fire and Squad. Without them, I wouldn't be able to participate in the tournament. Like I say, I'm only 25% of the team, and all of them were able to make it out there uh, to put it, uh, to work as a team, and to be able to win this medal. It really means a lot to me. And um, the next person, Danny, he actually woke up super early. Uh, or should I say, he didn't he barely slept. So. Uh, he only slept for a few hours and then he woke up super early 4 a.m. to uh, get out there the Nintendo store to be in line and it, that day was a little chilly too it was like 50 degrees so he was a little bit like a homeless out there for a few hours <laughs> to hold the, uh, to hold the line for us uh, until we get there to check in um, another uh, another person too little a he were able to make it out here um, it's the first time we met and I'm so happy to uh, that happened too and of course his parents uh, his parents so adorable so sweet oh boy uh, I think those are the best parents I ever met in my life for real uh, they actually were so supportive uh, they were not watching the tournament in person in there to be honest because they didn't want little a to be nervous so if you notice that the Nintendo store is like a glass, uh, right? So they were actually watching from outside, like looking at the big screen TV. I was like, oh no! <laughs> so they were just like, um, okay, their color, uh, they are like the ink colors yellow, so it should be winning. So they were just watching through like outside through the window. And every time uh, after each game, we walk outside. Uh, to take you know to get some fresh air and then they will we'll see them outside and then they notice that if each team will uh will finish playing they will actually wear this hat right so every time we walk down there we didn't have this hat they're like, okay that's a good sign they're still in the game <laughs> so that was so funny um who's next joymon or should i call the joymon Honestly, thank you so much for uh, being uh, yeah, yeah, let's go, cheering for us there. He got there on time at the start of the tournament, all the way, stay, uh, all the way to, uh, to the tournament, right, to the end. And no one knew who is 5M Squad. They're like, who are they? But Joy was like, yeah, 5M Squad. So all you hear is his voice. And then after, you know, to be honest, towards the end of the tournament, everybody was start kind of like cheering for us. So thank you, Joyma, for doing that. <laughs> and um, thank you to the Nintendo New Year staff for putting uh, and hosting the tournament. Without the tournament, we wouldn't be able to be able to participate at all. Uh, a lot of the staff was there. I love the people there. Uh, they got there early, I'm sure. And they were there with us, all of us, uh, all the participants in there from the, all the way to the morning, all the way to the end of the tournament. And uh, last but not least, you, all of you, thank you so much for the wonderful message in, on social media. I really appreciate it. I'm sure I'm going to read a lot of the uh, message in this video. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me and to my team. Uh, amazing support. Um, it, um, I have no words. It's a very um, priceless uh, moment for me. Thank you all. I really appreciate all watching the video uh, behind the scene. And um, if you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. And of course, join me in Splatoon uh, 3 live stream so you could play with me. We could practice more and more. And that helps me too to practice more. Well, who knows? Maybe perhaps more tournament. And oh, hopefully my team and I will participate um, down the line. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. But thank you. Thank you so much for watching, for the amazing support, all of you. Uh, it really means a lot to uh, the team and of course myself. And all right, so maybe I'll catch you soon and Splatfield or maybe on another Splatfest. We'll see. Take care.